pros and cons look at this it fits in your palm it's so compact traveling this is the best option you can fit in your backpack with the battery it doesn't take much space and all of this together with the brackets weighs five pounds in the cruise mode it provides a hundred percent support with the throttle doing all the work similar to a regular e-bike with no pedaling yeah on the throttle it's just easy i would say it's like a 500 watt rear hub motor what is so cool and so useful about this kit is that you can fit and adjust it on a variety of bike frames compact light commuters the best i found fit and super easy to integrate on frames like this one From what I experienced so far in the last two, three days of riding, in assist and B, I get about 16, 17 miles an hour top speed. And this kit is advertised to go maximum 50 miles an hour to be in compliance with uh, European and uh, I think US, the same regulation. But here, if you go in this mode, no markings, it goes up to 23, 22. Sometimes if it's perfectly flat, you have some wind 24 if you pedal really hard 27 28 so depending on your condition how fit you are you can go faster or slower the second pro super easy to remove it takes just seconds put in your backpack the same with the battery take it out and you're good to go once you remove this kit you close this nobody even looks at this uh, places where e-bikes are not allowed nobody's gonna give you a hard time it's gonna be like a regular bike, park it in the designated area and you're good to go. 